Arrington and Richardson Arms Co. H and R. Here's where it says all everything about it. If you kind of want to see if you can get close up and. Hankton and Richardson's Arms Company, Worcester, Massachusetts. Regular. Unless you're from Mass and you say Worcester. <laughs> Worcester, Mass. Open the bolt. Oh, is it one more time? Yeah, it is. That's all it is. Shot. No magazine. Is that a got like a heavy considered a heavy barrel? It's considered on it? a medium heavy barrel. And it's about a six and a half pound gun. One of the forms that was marketed toward military men coming home. You know what I mean? But it has the it's kind of got the looks of an old surplus rifle. But it has some 1946 quality. You know, if you had this gun custom made for you today, what would it cost with this grade walnut and a heavy barrel like that? Now you're at 22. That's it, 25. Peep sight. Got this little windage this, and this little tiny one, I think, adjusts the elevation. What's this right here? Which one? That's a guard to keep you from bumping it. Oh, so it doesn't like switch it from one range to another or something? Me, I don't know. I don't know anything about it, but because the way that's mounted, it's kind of there to protect this from getting bumped, from what I can see. It's in a match gun. It only has one sling swivel on the front and not the rear. I've never seen a gun like that. So is it kind of made to mount to a bipod and shoot, you know? We're going to find out today how precise it is. Not necessarily accurate unless we get the sights adjusted to where it's shooting. I got screwdrivers. Okay. I think if you need one. And we're going to compare it to two scoped guns. It's kind of rimfire day. Rimfire day. 25 yards. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to just shoot five and I want to shoot them at the same place on the paper. And we're, we're hoping that the sights are going to have to hit the board down there at 25. So you don't have any idea what the condition the sights are in now? No, not at all. We might want to check and see if the first one even hits. But I'm shooting for the middle red dot. Can you can you think you can tell if you hit the dot from here? Because I can't. Not even with my glasses uh, probably on. Probably not. I might be able to. Okay, right, here we go. All right. Fire in the hole. I think. Maybe. No. No. Uh, yeah. I I can't tell. Honestly. Can you see, John? No. Oh, no. So you're just going to shoot five at that center target yep. and then see what kind of group you get? Yeah, I'm trying to do a group the test. Same shot every time. Is that four? Yep. I think. We're just shooting. Doesn't your rangefinder have a good scope on it? Or you could set it. You, you might be able to see. There's some binoculars in there. Is there? This is slippery. Totally, yeah. yeah. Is it on? It's uh, every shot is below and to the right. John. All right, that's the first five targeted shots at 25 feet. 25 yards. I mean, 25 yards. Let's go. See, let's go see what it looks like. I see them on the paper now. Looks like the sights are pretty good. You were, oh, like I said, below and to the right. 
see. I want to see if I'm shooting how far those bullets are. You know? I only see four holes. Well, then two in this hole. Let's see. That's giving me. That's probably the that most gives me the sign area. of precision. The gun showing precision. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. So and I can adjust. So it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter if they were down here as long as they were tight. Exactly. Because <clears throat> you know you could fix that with yeah. the peak There's adjustment. two in the same hole. There's a three-shot group. That's now you want to. You want to get tools and, and see if we can uh, adjust, uh, adjust the scope before me and Sky shoot. Uh, let's shoot a while first. That's close enough on right. target to have fun. Let's let Sky shoot five because Sky's a good shot. Okay. He's definitely going to be a better shot than I am with iron sights. That's my boy. He can shoot. Well, I'm happy with the way it shoots, and the, and the targets are pretty close. The sights, you know. So, what you want to do is make the same shot each time. Mm -hmm. And what I did was I tried to still see the red dot, the whole red dot, rather than covering it up. And that's probably why my shots are a little bit low. So you don't want to cover it up. You want it to be riding well, on the edge. I want to be able to see the same thing every time I shoot, so I can cover. five identical shots. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and cover it. So, so I mean, I don't. Okay. So, so as far as the peep sight goes, you have a circle that that ends up on a line. But where does that line need to be on the target? Covering it, or halfway covering it, or you know what I'm saying? That's a good question. Do you use it like the horizontal line in a crosshair. Yeah. I would want it to be see, like a, like a, if that was the horizontal line in the scope. I would want to see the top of this with a horizontal cross line. Like just like it was a scope, like it was the horizontal yeah. part of a rec, reticle, reticle, rectum, rectumical. What I'm gonna do is pit that accuracy with these two scope guns. This one's a 22. I, the scope guns. And what I was wanting to do is do it though. on the targets to the left and right of that one to do the comparison. Do these guns I don't have think scopes the, on it? I don't think this can compare to the scope on the no. You really? Yeah, I well, don't think I don't think it's going to What we're talking about At this range, it probably can be easily. At this, well, which gun is more accurate? Because I, I feel real happy that I just laid those out down there pretty dang good with no scope. Well, this so gun is good a, luck. This is you a think, ex exceptionally you think made gun, isn't it? If you think those, because they have scopes, are going to do better, See. I but think I trust Sky to shoot at least as good as me. So are you gonna shoot for the right? Yeah. Does it not have like an you know ejection? No, it doesn't eject the shells. Yeah. So I'm not too psyched about that. Yeah, I don't really like that either. So far the barrel showing precision, just, that's why. It doesn't have a no. shell ejection? No. This has a little hook to pull it back. I don't like that. I don't like it. It's kind of snappy, ain't it? What do you mean? I don't think the gun will move. One thing I'm not psyched about is this is all slippery up here, so be careful. You might want to. Trigger. I don't know how heavy that pull is, but it's not light. I'll tell you that. I have to guess it's probably at least four. Can you see where you're hitting, Scott? Not really. I can. Am I doing good? I think the same thing. I think that shot was pretty good. Might have shot a little bit low. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so far, I'm taking take a look at that. Oh, yeah, he spread. Dude, my group's way tighter than yours, dude. <laughs> really? You got like a five inch group going over there. Damn. Yeah, you're all over the place. Let's go see. <clears throat> no, man. I think it's the iron sight. Weird. Have you never shot with an iron sight before, have you? No. <clears throat> I have like a long, long time ago. When I had vision, Weird. that was half worth I the like crap. Put a scope on that thing, I like it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, learn how to shoot with iron sights and then get a scope. You'll be even better. 
All right, so. I don't know, man. I think it's the iron sight. I don't know. I'd be pretty good with it. I mean. <laughs> it's just that's, I'm not good with it. In the way, if I if I move those sights, I would keep this. I would keep the elevation the same, and I would just move it an inch to the left. At 25 yards. If you, if you look at all 10 shots, almost all of them are pretty good on the vertical. Yep. And the, you see, uh, Sky only had one shot to the left. Every other shot was to the right. Your turn. All right. <clears throat> Definitely is good thing to know. So, check this out. Put a scope on that gun would be like taking it away from this intention. See, I love to keep it real, you know what I'm saying? All right. Shell's turn. Talk about myself in the third person. It's the person's turn who talks about themselves in the third person's turn. Yeah. I wants to naturally put the post in the center of the circle. You know what I mean? You're just try to, whatever you do, the first shot, just try to keep them the same each time on the targets. Unless I screw up the first shot, like, damn, I messed well, that no, up. Just listen. <laughs> just, just, I got it. While retaining sight alignment, slowly squeeze the trigger. Yeah. I learned that the last time. I made the mistake of being like, <laughs> I knew like I was left. Thinking, Why did I, I pull it? I, I, I learned a lesson last time we were shooting about there's not like an instant, like, now. If you like try to like think about when the moment to pull the trigger is at this moment, that kind of nowness makes you not follow through. Hard one moves to say when you're doing it right, it should surprise you every time. Yeah. You talk after. You. What was it made for? Well, it's not made for hunting because of the sights, and it doesn't have a magazine. That it's keeps the like price down. Issue. That's what I'm thinking. It's got a semi-heavy barrel on it. What it is, it's like a teenager's boy gun no. that he gets when he's a teenager, yeah. and he learns how this works, yeah. and then he gets 18, and he goes in the military, and it's the same thing. He's ready to roll. That's not a good point. Yeah. It's like a Boy Scout gun. Totally simple. I mean, think about like when it was... a target gun. Think it's it, not a boy's gun. Well... It's a full-size gun, hmm. and that's one thing I really like about that gun. Pick this gun up after picking that one up and say that. Hmm. We'll see what but, I mean. but in 46, they were like, we need to have as many able-bodied men familiar with this form as possible. Yeah, well, people shoot matches, you know, 22s. That's, you know, that'd be a good match. And there's like a whole sport where you don't get to use a scope. You have to shoot iron sight, and, and they have a whole Competition where they're like scopes are for pussies. Like the biathlon? Yeah. I don't think they're using the scopes, do you? Do they use flex sights? Uh, I think they might. Pinhole. Pinhole. Stand back this way, it won't be as loud. <clears throat> so, same shot every time. See the bullet through the target. Looks like you did pretty good, Shell. Looks like you're sitting with it. Sit with it, you know what I mean? I, got, I have a, I had a plan of action in my head about exactly what I was going to do. I don't see how you shoot with those glasses on. Yeah, I feel like the lenses are just... Um, if I want to see anything downrange without a scope, you can't do it without glasses. I can't even see red dots, dude. Okay. <laughs> Damn. It's a nice gun, I like it. being a single shot because it's what they've done what they've focused is, what's on the, the gun what's is, the what's is focused on the accuracy of the gun what so done. rimfire is that just a cheaper method of production what's the point of rimfire is it easier just mechanically everything simpler Probably. yeah i think so all right that's my 
five. I felt pretty good about each shot. There you go. You did exactly what you should do. Mine are still a little tighter, but yeah, that's great. Yours are pretty much exactly between mine and skies and acting uh, precision. You guys found a way to make it a little bit closer to this. Did you? I, start, I started adjusting for that. Okay. So that peg, so if you think about like that square, like the top, there's your top of your sight, the square, I put that dot here. It was okay. just riding on that right corner. I see. That's well, I did try to do it every time. Okay, now we're going to pull out another gun and pin it. Self is on it. Now we're going to stick with the 22s. Then we're going to go to 17. Same thing as the last. Then, then we might shoot some 100 yard grade. 50? 100. I'll shoot 100 yards with the iron sight is pretty tough. Well, I'm. Yeah. Like some, you can still probably pull off a head size group though, you think? Well, like I said, I'm glad we have the red dot at 25 because it, like I said, it'd been hard for me to see that. see like the barrel curve or not. Getting thicker, you mean? Yeah. Semi-heavy barrel, they call it. All right. I'm happy with it. Shot well. Shot it tight. I do a little promo for the Harris bipod. My friend, she, she said, oh, you got a kickstand for your gun. Kickstand. <laughs> <laughs> so you like your bipod there? The bipod, the Harris bipod. You want them to sponsor your Little YouTube promo. channel? Yep. Savage Mark II caliber 22 LR only. So that is that a type of load? 22 long rifle, that's what we're shooting. You can shoot, you don't need an orange group on this one, do you? I sure don't. The shoot the ones below. That's a big time flyer right there. What's that? One just went way high and left. You think of a defective bullet or something? Sometimes. We're not shooting the, you know. I brought a couple different kinds of ammo, but That's we're all trying to pit this, the same ammo right now. So the bolt's back. Let's see what the results clip out. They're printing pretty tight. We'll be doing good to have the iron sight. Actually, iron sights are still winning. Look at that. Hey, you know what I mean? There's two touching again, though, but that's a tighter group. Like the longest distance. So you're not you're are you're not adjusting the scope for a short range or anything like that. That's um. You're lining the scope up as right in the middle as you possibly can. Yeah, I'm shooting for that dot right there. Is it? Okay. So should I just accommodate so for that or what no? I've, what I've just done is I've pitted my two 22s and so far the h and showing more more accuracy, more precision. The gun shoots a tight group. That's with iron sights compared to four power scope. What I'm thinking is that 22's got a killer barrel on it, dude. I'm liking it. The I'm the only one to hit the bullseye. Let's take, let's state that obvious fact for well, a moment, like I said, too. What we're trying to do is see how accurate the barrel shoots. Yeah, I know. But I wanted to hit the target. Okay. <laughs> hit the bullseye, that's how you tell. <laughs> I mean, a close group is a close group, but yeah, the way you... I mean, I saw how I had the experience of seeing how you guys shot, and I adjusted for it. That out, make the same hold every time. It didn't adjust the scope, right? Yeah. So sky up with the. See, now you got the scope, but not necessarily a heavier barrel.
Yeah, that's excellent. Good job. So, still not quite as tight as my group. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be that way. That's good sheet. I, mean, I don't know that. Our are pretty much so, the but, same at the scope. Okay, that's, a per, that's a pretty, I mean, that's. Our groups are pretty, pretty <clears> I mean, good. Look at this. His savage group, is, John, John, his savage group is tighter than your savage group. But not as tight as your H&R group. That's yeah. a good point. I, I, they, I suck. So whose turn is to shoot now? That's mine on the bottom left with the gotcha. with the savage. In other words, that thing coming off the shelf side of the end, dude, I'm psyched. Shoot a tight group, Shell. Keep it up. Just whatever you're doing, just keep doing the same thing. He's got three in one hole, one. Just need to warm up a little bit. I went way right on that one, didn't I? That was weird. I felt that one went squirrely, too. The bolt open. Yeah. Pull it back. You got one way right, one left. And three fucking you can. I swear that that one on the right. Out, dude. I was just. just one I think that one, I had one go flying on me. Okay. Because I was confident of that one as I was any. You took that. Fl yeah. The savage just getting warmed up. Look at that. Yep. Dang. Well, none of us would have missed like a groundhog or a rabbit. At 25 yards, would we? So now what we need is you want to go get three black dots off that target, and we'll put them and shoot the 17 at the same distance before we move anything, and see how what kind of groups we put get. black dots right there. Yeah, just keep the same test going. All right. Uh, I was saying that the H and R has peep sights. The Savage has a four power scope. Now we're going to like a nine power scope. Okay. Nine times magnification. We're still at 25 yards. And so to say already to use the peep sights is showing signs that that's not a problem at 25 yards. So, so you expect to have a much tighter group with the 17? And the much powerful you know scope? I don't know what to expect. So we'll find out. All right. So we're going to the 17 HMR rimfire day. And now we got, we so this is the 17. It's actually a smaller round, but it's higher velocity. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. And I thought 2550 tw feet per second. The 22 velocity is probably like 11, 1200. 1200. We tried shooting this uh, 17 in some of my homemade Tannerite, and it was not fast enough to set it off. I might try to mix up a little flash powder target, though. I'd be interested to see if the 22 or the 17 would set off the flash powder target. It wore it out, dude. 
it wore it out, dude. It looks like one hole out there. That's because you only hit it once. You missed the other times. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> John. It really good. wore it out. That'd be some chipmunk gravy right there. Chipmunk gravy. <laughs> I'm serious. That'd be a good name yeah. for an old time band. I mean, you can hunt some chipmunks with that thing. <clears throat> At 25 yards, be headshots. That's a pretty tight group right there. Yeah. Okay. That's a heavy barrel savage. 17. I got a, the advantage with that. Good. You can see the actually the holes in the target are and smaller you know too. It really likes that Winchester ammo compared to the Hornady ammo. And we figured that out last time I was here. So it's 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 liking that food. So let's keep the test going, Sky. Here's your shot yeah. right here. The shell's gonna shoot his over here. Keep on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna draw five dots and I'm gonna predict where each of my bullets are gonna go ahead of time. Annie Oakley. <laughs> Three o'clock in the ring. Good yeah. shooting though. Real good shooting. Okay, okay bolts open. Yeah. Okay, okay. Look at that. There's four in a hole. Yeah. One flyer. I am on point. That's that's good. That's good. Right. Good job. Grab those but not. Is that the heat on in your house? Is it... You got your five? Got a five. Chamber clear. Hey, you're looking... Looking yeah, man. That's a tight group. She'll beat us. That's the tightest group of the day right there, dude. He did. I you did it. My, my four, man. You did it, man. Ooh. I got four, like, Where right there. Dude, that's the tightest group. If I just hadn't there. had that flyer, it might have been the round, though. very tight. Good job, Shell. Yeah, see, only three holes. All right, so I've shot a bunch of homemade tannerite. We tried John's 17, not fast enough. Not high enough velocity to set off um, tannerite. But this is just my flash powder, potassium chlorate, aluminum. Look, there's a spider on top. One interesting thing that we figured out too is the 17 is zeroed in at 25 as it is 100. What that says, that thing shoots flat. Yeah, it's very light. You're right. And it's very high velocity. So it shoots flat for a certain distance, and then I'm sure they said the wind bucks them, you know, at a longer distance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, can we check out the spider? a remnant from the crab. You just better get your asses out of there. No long as they. All right, 10 grams flash powder and a little plastic screw container. And we'll see if it'll detonate with John 17. Phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. 
that was a little camera mount I had. They got blown to smithereens. Dang, I gotta make some more of that, man. Throw some stars in there. See how fast that was? See how loud it was. <laughs> Maybe that's what's cool about this 25 yards away. Oh, Yeah, so there's a big dent. And the top of this rail was flat like this all the way across. Boom. I believe this paint. It bent the metal and cracked the paint. That's crazy, man. Now, imagine. What if I just like bit, made some of those? Like, well, let's put one of those on a pumpkin. And shoot it. Wham! Blow the pumpkin face side off first. It'd be cool. Watch that slow mo. Here's another exploding target, flash powder based, 10 grams. It has five stars and a handful of crackles in it too. Shooting it with John 17. All right, here's Skies gonna shoot the exploding target with the 17. Thank you. 